What is that one moment in your life that changed your life forever? Uh, probably the moment, my, the day my parents kicked me out of the house. Can you describe that one moment in one word? Harsh. <laughs> <laughs> what did you realize when that moment happened? That I couldn't count on anybody but myself. When something in the past has already happened, our only option is to change ourselves. On a night before the last day of elementary school, a fifth grader decides to scroll through the thousands of channels on television. He finally just stops on the movie channel and decides to watch the movie called You Don't Even Know It Yet. Suddenly, the TV turns off as the fifth grader's parents come into the room saying, Son, we have to talk. Half awake, the boy tries to listen but falls asleep. The words have become one with his dream. The next morning was the last day of school. Instead of looking forward to middle school, sports team tryouts, lockers, and everything that comes with graduation, his last day of elementary school was different. Usually, the boy would catch the school bus every day, but this day, his mom had promised to drive him to school. The mom finally built up the strength to tell her son that he was adopted. The boy just sits there and stares at the windshield wipers go back and forth. He couldn't shake the feeling of being unwanted, unloved, and why was he even on the planet? Both the mom and the boy shared a few moments of sadness crying their eyes out. As the boy walks into the front door of his school, calm and slowly, he just asks himself why over and over again. When he stops, a multitude of tears roll down the boy's cheek. He spent that last day of school feeling miserable, alone, and no longer knew who he was anymore. It is now the year 2013. That boy who once felt abandoned is a changed person. I am now an outgoing, positive person who mentors other adopted children at my church and wakes up every morning with the realization of when something in the past has already happened, our only option is to change ourselves. Instead of letting change become my ruler, I decided to be change's architect and make it not only my life story, but my motivation to help others also. If you don't like something, change it. If you can't change it, change your attitude. Alex Marshall, Manassas, Virginia, Global Leadership Forum 2013.